Hey guys, Pythagorean theorem is true for all of these cases. There's already a ton of proofs for this version. I'm not going to worry about that in this video, but I do want to show how this version leads to the other versions. So let's do this one. How do we get from here to here? Since this is an equation, we can multiply both sides by the same thing, in this case, one half. And this one half will distribute to both of these terms, and this one half will distribute here. And we end up with a squared over two plus b squared over two equals c squared over two. And basically that's cutting all of these in half, so it ends up looking like this. And that's how to do the first one. And you can do something similar for equilateral triangles. The area of an equilateral triangle is the square root of three over four times the base squared. So this formula would be root three over four a squared plus root three over four b squared equals root three over four c squared. And you can imagine how we get from here to there. We multiply both sides of the equation by root three over four. This will distribute to both of these and this distributes here and we now have the equation we wanted. It's the same thing for regular pentagons. You just multiply both sides by a constant. The next interesting one is semicircles. The area of a semicircle is equal to pi r squared divided by two, or you can rewrite that as pi over two r squared. So this would end up being pi over two r squared plus pi over two r squared equals pi over two r squared. So r sub one is the radius of this one. That's gonna be half of the distance a. So we can change this to a over two. And then r sub two would be the radius of this semicircle. So that's gonna be half of b. So this will be b over two. And then the radius of this one is gonna be half of this side length c. So we'll change that to c over two. So this is the formula for semicircles and we can prove that this is true. We start with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then we'll divide both sides of the equation by four. And then on the left side, this four can be split to the two terms. We can rewrite each of these fours as two squared. Now looking at this a squared over two squared, we can rewrite this as a over two, the whole thing squared. And the same thing as b squared over two squared, that can be rewritten as b over two squared. And we can do the same thing to this, it'd be c over two squared. And then for the next step, we can multiply both sides of the equation by pi over two. This pi over two will distribute to both of these terms, and on this side, it will distribute here. And now we have the equation of the semicircle Pythagorean theorem. So we went from the Pythagorean theorem that we know to this new fun version. And this will work for any similar figures. You end up multiplying both sides of the Pythagorean theorem by some constant. How exciting.